these values are z and angle okay by using this data we can calculate the modulus real part of modulus as well as imaginary part of modulus by using that modulus values we will draw the cool cool plots okay now we will discuss how to draw that cool cool plots by using phase angle and impedance values we can calculate the real part of impedance imaginary part of impedance real part of admittance imaginary part of admittance ac conductivity real part of modulus imaginary part of modulus as well as real and imaginary parts of dielectric constant real and imaginary part of impedance and admittance values are calculated in our previous video now we will focus on how to calculate modulus and how to draw the cold cold floods here for calculating modulus m dash real part is equal to this formula m dash is equal to 2 pi f epsilon naught into z double dash into a by t by using this formula we can calculate here So now here there is some error in this formula so please check it so that's why it's not applicable see here okay here one extra bracket is there we have to remove that extra bracket then apply now this is the m dash okay now we will calculate the m double dash for that just copy this value okay and select m double dash now paste it so what is the difference between uh, m dash and m double dash is here in case of m dash we are taking z dash z double dash for m double dash we have to take z dash okay that is the difference between both right click on the sheet select duplicate without data so previous one is the at particular temperature room temperature now same uh, values will calculate at higher temperatures okay like 50 100 like that all temperatures okay now this is the 50 so here no need to calculate every time data just if you paste the uh, z and angle values automatically remaining everything will be appear because your formulas automatically applicable if you select that option okay same like that we will calculate for all temperatures 50 100 like that all temperatures will calculate just if you paste it automatically you will get see here this is the all temperature values okay by using this all values we can ca uh, calculate modulus and paste that modulus values in a particular sheet another this is the modulus data at all temperatures for drawing the cold cold plots we have to convert the axis here m dash is x axis m double dash is y axis okay like that for all values here different temperatures are there for all those temperatures I am converting m dash a is x axis and m double dash is y axis. Yeah, you can select multiple at a time also. So by using control key you can select multiple columns at a time and then you can change all values at a time. Okay. Okay then click on plot okay rescale it see here this is the cold cold plots but here we have to change the scale so from 0 to particular whatever range it will be there will, i'm taking 70 milli okay and the same y axis also i'm changing the same scale for cold cold plots we have to keep so both are same scale then only you will get the cold cold shape okay 
so this is the cold cold plot we draw here now we'll write the axis for that mm, click on format and select axis button so in that axis here m dash okay yeah so yeah there is no space that's why i'm reducing the size okay yeah we can reduce the size as well as uh, we can change this format also if you put engineering means its size will be reduced and decimal also zero without decimals i'll place here this is a m double dash same i'm writing here now coming to the axis type so click on format axis titles okay m double dash you can write units also here so how to write units we'll discuss in next video okay so we can change the size of the and uh, we can change bold also you can put it bold also it will be appear very nice this is a cold cold plots in between the m dash and m double dash